Good job. Ow. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Is it? No. Is it? Nope, not quite. So creepy. Oh, damn it, Serana. Your freaking skeleton is making noises at me. What the? What? What is going on? That was a perfectly lined up shot. <laughs> I mean, I don't need to understand everything, but I can say I'm pr plenty confused. Did a compi just knock my Jeep back? What the what happened there? Oh my god, am I going to do it? I think I'm going to do it, guys. No! Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Sorry. Oh, Sorry. Ah. Rude. Sorry, Edgar. <laughs> Holy crap, that was... That might not have hit anything yet. Although... I'm kind of wondering how far that wave might maintain its height. That bridge could be in trouble. Um, but... That was impressive as hell. Oh, we have a thing. You don't scare me! Ah! Oh god. Dag. Oh. You dumb. Fuck. Jesus. Oh my god. Fuck. Uh.
to try one more time. <laughs> wow! The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. Several hours later. at the ground, Jake. What happened? Oh my god. What the hell? Who did that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! I can't believe I killed it. Ferengi pack lead, my god. Seriously, you can be pack lead? Rigelian, Saurian, Tellarite, Trill, Vulcan, and Alien. Wait, what? Alien, as opposed to. <laughs> okay. I am back. Oh, right. We left off here. Okay. Um, now to try to remember what was going on in Zelda. Actually, give me one half a second here. Okay, we've got a few clips from Joe Wander. Okay. Hopefully this won't impact anything. I'm just going to start the download for the Joe Wander segment. So I've got it ready when I am done streaming. I just hope that it doesn't suck up my bandwidth and cause the stream to lag or anything, but fingers crossed. I can always pause or cancel the download. Uh, what were we doing? Let's check our adventure log. Sedan of the Zora. You met with Sedan at Mifa Court. He has a hunch that the cause of the sludge is in the sky. In his search for answers, he ordered the Zora historian Giotto to investigate the ancient documents in the fallen ruins. Speaking with Giotto at Toto Lake may yield information about Princess Zelda. Okay, so we flew all the way back down here to the city, and we maybe should not have. But that's okay, because we also did a shrine while we were up there if I recall correctly. So we can pop right back up. Thank you, Winters. Man, that Joe Wonders game, that was actually really fun. I really enjoyed that. It seemed a little bit simple at first, and there was a point when I finished with the jungle part, and I kind of thought I had beaten the game before I discovered the Egyptian segment. Uh, that I was a little concerned, but I had a really good time with that. That was really fun. 
I think I can definitely give that a wholehearted recommendation if you like that kind of platformy puzzle. And I do, I do kind of enjoy them. Not so much the platforming parts, although that wasn't bad. But I really enjoyed the puzzles. They were, you know, pretty simple now. But of course, there's going to be a little bit of a lead up into the difficulty. But it started to get really satisfying towards the end, and especially in the Egyptian section. Man, really, really good. Okay, what are we trying to do? You are Sedan. I thought we... Do we need to talk to you? Who are you? <laughs> to think that my daughter was chosen to join the Ruins Investigation Group. I'll have to pay her a quick little visit later. <gasps> oh, my apologies. I did not notice you there. If you have a question, I will do my best to provide an answer. Oh, oops, I hope you did not hear me talking to myself. Well, you see, my daughter, Dunma, was selected for the Ruins Investigation Team. It is quite the honor. Ah. She's protecting Giotto the Historian over at Toto Lake, all by her lonesome, no less. She earned this honor for her part in clearing out the sludge in the domain. <laughs> She is practically a child still, not even in the triple digits, yet look at what she has accomplished. I'm so proud. Dova, welcome on in. How are you doing? Ah. It's dark now. Please be careful out on the road. I will say it was definitely fun to watch. I'm really glad, Winters. It, it was fun. I'm looking forward to working with clips on that one. Probably have to go through and grab more because I was too busy to really grab too many myself. But chat was kind and grabbed a few clips while I was playing, so we will have some stuff to work with. Now I believe they're over that away. Let's go pay them a visit. I'm doing good, Dova. Just got done playing a bit of Joe Wanders and the Enigmatic Mysteries, or the Enigmatic Adventures, rather, which is a new game. I was given a key by Key Mailer, and I enjoyed the heck out of it. I mean, I didn't finish the game. I played a couple of hours of it, though, enough to get a very good sample, and I might do some more of that sometime. It was really fun. Where exactly are we looking? South of Col That's Terrytown there. Oh, Toto Lake is right here. Okay. Okay. Entry level Gundam kit RX-78-2. Very nice. How did that turn out? I haven't done a model build in a billion years. What is with these trees? And where is the team? Oh, there's one of them. That looks like who we have to speak to. I will never understand the ways of historians. Can he not conduct the investigation more cautiously? No. Oh, oh dear. I certainly hope that you do not hear overhear me. <clears throat> Grumbling to myself like that. It's not odd as it sounds, really. Uh... Giado keeps interacting with dangerous things. When I object, he insists it's necessary for his research. That makes things quite difficult for me, as it is my job to guard him. That is why I gave in to a moment of grumbling. Oh. Right, do you see that opening there? The cliff crumbled as a result of the upheaval, and that revealed these ancient ruins. Prince Sidon immediately ordered a thorough investigation. Uh. Giotto is a historian, so this kind of thing is his specialty. He was terribly excited and is completely transfixed by the ruins. Uh. 
Vera, how's it going? It's good to see you. I hope you are doing well. I'm doing pretty fantastic. Jim, thank you so much for 30 heckin' months. What the... Oh. <laughs> I, <laughs> I hadn't realized that I forgot to reset the daily... Oh, look at this big shiny button. I believe we're at 3 for the day, not at 8. Let me just really quickly go and correct that. One moment. Hang on. Hang on. There. That looks more like it. Okay. How goes the morning evening stream schedule? It's actually turning out really well. The problem I'm having with it is not so much the change to the daytime. That's working extremely well. I feel way less stressed. Things are going really good. It's the only streaming three times a week thing I'm finding extremely difficult to manage with the number of games that I want to play and the amount of content I want to do. So I might introduce some flex days where I have the option of doing another stream during the week. I'm thinking about it. So that maybe I do only do three days a week. Maybe I do four. We'll have to see. I could even potentially open that up to five, but, uh, you know, I'll have to play it by year. This dignified presentation, yes, the writing looks like waves upon a stormy sea. Extraordinary. This ancient stone slate was written by our Zora ancestors from the distant past and left for us to discover. I was, I, 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 I don't know that I've ever actually watched Ko's stream. Does he do that where he has certain fixed days that he always streams and others where he doesn't necessarily always do it? Because that seems like a pretty logical solution to me. There were so many amazing games. I don't know. Did you guys, for those of you who weren't here towards the beginning of stream, did you guys get a chance to watch all the amazing announcements that came out? I've been just gobsmacked the last few days with the amount of stuff that's coming out. We've got trailers for Sim, like, uh, not Sim, uh, City Skylines 2, which looks phenomenal. There was the whole Starfield Direct presentation, which... Uh, <sighs> I could probably stream that for a solid year, never touch a whole other game, and be perfectly content and happy. We've got Baldur's Gate 3, which I caved into FOMO, I admit it. I really probably shouldn't have done this, but I ended up getting the Collector's Edition. I already have the Digital Deluxe Edition for PC. I got the Collector's Edition for PS5 because I couldn't justify in my head buying the Collector's Edition for PC when I already had the Digital Deluxe. But I really wanted the statue and the oversized metal D20 and all the other fancy-ass stuff that was in it. I, I should not have done it. It was unwise, but I did it. So <laughs> there we go. City Skylines 2 and DLC coming out. Yeah, yeah. Cities. Oh my God. A friend of mine who uh, used to be on a stream team with me, Team Ever After, her name is Zilliness. She's been streaming more again lately. She had uh, sort of stopped streaming for a number of years, but she's back again and streaming. And she is big time obsessed with City Skylines and even learning to create her own custom assets, buildings and stuff to appear in the game. So she's really, really into Cities. And she was freaking out over the Cities 2 trailer. And she did a stream yesterday just specifically going over, you know, basically frame by frame the entire trailer for Cities 2, the gameplay trailer, and just identifying all the stuff that's in it, and it looks... That's another one. I could probably play Cities 2 for a solid year and be perfectly happy without touching another game. So we've got Baldur's Gate 3, we've got Cities 2, we've got um, Baldur's Gate... Th Baldur's Gate 3, we've got Starfield, we've got Cities 2. I don't know when I'm going to have time to play some of the other games that I'm looking forward to. I'm already pretty certain that I'm not going to be able to touch Spider-Man 2 until 2024. Ugh. There's so much good stuff coming. I didn't see all of them, but I'm super excited. Yes, Star Wars Outlaws, so far, early lead. 
uh, most anticipated game of 2024 for me. That one, uh, it, it it's beautiful. It looks so good. It looks so incredible. I purchased Chapter 2 for Crusader Kings 3, so you're waiting on that? Oh, nice, Vera. See, that's because I ordered the collector's edition of uh, Baldur's Gate 3, and I'm going to pre-order the you know ultimate edition of City Skylines 2, and not the collector's edition. I'm not... I don't think I'm going to be able to get the watch edition of Starfield, but I'm going to at least get the digital deluxe for Starfield. That's basically my game budget for the year. <laughs> so we're going to be playing a lot of games that I already have until those come out, or games that like uh, Joe Wander that I'm able to get through Keymaker, because uh, I'm just not going to have the extra money to spend on smaller incidental releases like I usually do. That that's just completely blown the rest of my budget for 2023, I think. Tell me about it. I'm playing Octopath. Oh, you know what? I do have Octopath Traveler I need to start one of these days. And just sort of enjoying the Crusader Kings 3 chapter stuff as it slowly comes out. Yeah. I'm glad Outlaws is out in 2024 because ain't nobody got time for that in 2023. I know there's so much stuff. I was really hoping that Ubisoft would use the Snowdrop, Snowdrop engine for Outlaws, and you weren't disappointed. Oh, is that the one that they used? I didn't hear about that one. So between playing a JRPG and a Paradox strategy game, my time is just being tossed out a window. I can relate. I can relate. Alas, I cannot decipher it. Hmm? Ah, Link. My apologies, I was deep in thought. In any case, I have news. I have made a monumental discovery. This is undeniably an ancient Zora stone slate. Better still, upon its surface, there appears to be text regarding the sky. However, the slate is broken, and so I am unable to read it in its entirety. I deeply wish that I could view the full text. Alas, I fear that my fins are tied. So we gotta find the slate. But yeah, uh... The stream that Zilliness did yesterday, it was actually really, really fascinating because I had watched the trailer, but I hadn't gone into a lot of detail. So she did things like she... Oh, it's right here. Um, she did a lot of still frame imaging on interface elements that had come up. And it looks like one of the most requested features in any city builder, not just city skylines. But basically every single Sim City that I've ever played, people have desperately wanted mixed uses. And what that means is the ability to zone like a commercial or residential area that can also have, like you can have mixed commercial and residential in the same area. So you might have, you know, your storefront shop on the bottom level of the building and then people living in apartments above it. It looks like that's going to finally be possible. And I'm so excited for it. It looks so good. It looks very much like City Skylines 1, except it looks cleaner. It looks more modern. It looks like it's got all kinds of new options. It looks like they've taken the generic pollution factor from City Skylines 1, and they've divided it into separate categories. So you've got air pollution and you've got ground pollution instead of just having pollution that's assumed to be kind of both. So they've separated that out. It looks really, really, ugh. It's, ugh, ugh. I, 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 I love it. It looks so wonderful. I need to watch the trailer about 50,000 more times. Uh, but we, uh, no, no, not that one. We want this, and we want this, and we want splash fruit, and we want to clean up this crap so that I can take the chunk of the slate. Now we want that. There we go. Nope. Keep coming. There we are. Not sure if you saw it, but apparently I-95 was collapsed. I did see something about that, Vera Johnson. That's terrible. They're investigating it, so that's causing some chaos with shipping and tourism. I'll have a week to enjoy Baldur's Gate 3. Actually, there's even... Problems with that, Winters. Starfield officially releases about a week after Baldur's Gate 3, but did you pick up on the fact that if you've pre-ordered Starfield, you're going to be able to play it five days earlier, or up to five days earlier, they say? 
that means you might have a day or two with Baldur's Gate 3 before Starfield arrives. <laughs> What is this? The stone slate. I can hardly believe my eyes. Link, I must thank you. Ah. Oh, incredible. I can finally read it. Ah, yes, I very well can. Stand upon the land of the skyfish and behold its lofty view. Among the floating rocks you see, a droplet waits for you. Through this droplet, shoot an arrow with the mark of the king. Do this task, and you shall reveal a most wondrous thing. See the watery bridge's resting spot with your own two eyes, that which connects the Zora to the people of the skies. This is an extraordinary discovery. This important text actually tells us how to journey into the sky. Hmm. Though in truth, that mystery just leads us straight into another. One difficulty has been overcome, and yet another has appeared in its wake. As it mentions the mark of the king, perhaps it would be prudent to consult King Dorothan. I assume that he will be returning from his investigation of the sludge shortly. Baldur's Gate 3 is the only thing that matters. So far from the truth, Greeny. You clearly did not watch Starfield Direct. Baldur's Gate 3 is going to be incredibly important, but Starfield is going to be the game. Just because Starfield is going to be a game that I'm going to be playing for years. Baldur's Gate 3, I will be playing less. I'll probably enjoy it every bit as much, but Starfield is just going to have that replayability factor. You forgot about that. I may just get the standard game of Starfield, though. That's already 120 Aussie. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's one of those games I know I'm going to put so many thousands of hours into Starfield. It's going to be worth the extra content. You really cannot look at Starfield. Why is that, Greeny? I don't understand. Okay, so what do we need to do next? Stand upon the land of the skyfish and behold its lofty view. Among the floating rocks you see a droplet waits for you. Oh, this droplet! Through this droplet, shoot an arrow with the mark of the king. Do this task, you shall reveal a most wondrous thing. You deciphered a clue for finding the watery bridge. Giado suggests speaking with King Dorafan. Okay, so I guess now we go back to Zora's domain and see what's what down there. Oh, you have doubts that... Oh, yeah, honestly, I'm even a little concerned about that. I, I am. It looks so good with all the lighting and stuff that I'm concerned. I'm sure I'll be able to run it, but I think that's going to be probably the game that pushes me to upgrade my video card which I'm not looking forward to. And it is definitely not happening in 2024. Or 2023. Maybe 2024. But, uh... You are not wrong. You are not wrong. I mean, if they're capping it out on the Xbox Series X at 30 frames per second... I might have to run it on low settings or something. Ooh. But if I can only play it on minimal settings, then I will play it on minimal settings because it's just too exciting. I want to build the Millennium Falcon and fly it around. And I want to add other ships into my fleet as well, like some kind of Starfleet designated ship. Oh, what's up? Ooh. Hey, Hillian, how's the investigation going? Ah. He went off to investigate the sludge. I assume he will be returning to the throne room shortly. Oh. The throne room has become a play area for the children. It was Prince Sedan's brilliant idea to give them somewhere safe to play. Even in these trying times, he is so, so thoughtful. Their parents were quite relieved. This will also keep them safe and healthy, which will also make Lady Yona's work easier. 
The young ones are overjoyed and already playing. They have lots of energy to burn since they've not been able to give out. Oh, right. We have to talk to Lady Yona. <laughs> Lido, who was just cleaning the throne room, had to hide in a corner to get out of their way. Ah. There were a few who opposed it at first, but Prince Adon knew how beneficial it would be. I have much to learn from him. Oh. Ask me anything you please. Recently, it feels as though everything is new. Uh, perhaps it's worth noting that Captain Baz has not returned. Oh. Ever since he went to patrol the area near that Skyview Tower that the Helians built, he has not returned. He insisted on going out there all by himself, as he said it was overrun by monsters. However, oh. there is not a monster alive that can get the best of our Captain Baz. I am not worried at all. No, not one bit. Okay, where's Lady Yona? Currently, situations regarding living arrangements may not even be able to afford internet once I move. Oh, God. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. You met with Sedan at Mifa Court. He has a hunch that the cause of the sludge is in the sky. Speaking with Giotto at Toto Lake may lead to information. Didn't I just... Maybe it's a side quest. Where's Lady Yona? Gourmet's gone missing. The cook got her is worried about some regular guests who are overdue. Right, we found them, but we couldn't do anything yet. The Beast and the Princess. That's the pen one. Messages from an ancient era. Priceless stone tablet engraved with ancient Hyrulean text has fallen into the sky fallen from the sky into Lookout Landing. Master Koga of the Yiga clan. Keys born of water. Keys born of water to the three altars. The sacred shine, shrine will appear. Elden's colossal fossil. Okay. I'm not at all certain. Hmm. I'm supposed to speak to Lady Yona. Where the heck would she be? That's rhetorical, by the way. We'll just wander around until I find her. Definitely somewhere between min and recommended specs. Still also doing 1080p gaming. My Yeah, I mostly do 1080, honestly. My 3060 Ti is going to be tested. I'm still running at 1080 like, uh, a, an actual GTX 1080 video card. I don't have a 20 series or 30 series or anything yet. I hope they don't mind me shattering all their stuff. Nothing? Rude. Okay. As an example, Ko does cozy streams nowadays, which are later in the day, like usually 7 or 8 p.m. his time for maybe two or three hours max of a game he wants to play that day. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking I might do. If I do end up opening up, you know, extra days where I can stream other things a little bit more, I might continue to do the games that I'm working on during the regular streams, or I might do things like, um, 
Jill Wanders and the Enigmatic Adventures. You know, smaller games that I want to give a good shot to, but don't necessarily want to devote an entire six hour block to or something. I didn't mean to read that. Holy crap, that's a lot. Not so much the text, I don't mind the length of the text, but the amount of clicking is a lot. Now, Lady Yona's the green one, right? There she is. Whew, this sludge really is quite stubborn. I dearly hope our patients recover soon. Ah. Lady Yona, Sir Link is here at last. Oh. You really came, how fortuitous. I was hoping to speak with you about an item that you entrusted the domain with repairing, your Zora armor. The repair is mostly complete, but it does require just one more thing. I need an ancient arowana. Well, lucky for you, I've got several. I can finish the armor right away if I can somehow acquire a scale from that fish. We have not seen ancient arowanas around lately, and I have no idea where they can be found. Hmm. Since they're used for making armor, Dento the blacksmith may know something about how to get one. If you find one, could you please bring it to me? Do that, and I shall fix your precious item at once and return it to your care. As you well know, the Zora armor allows even a hillian like you to climb waterfalls with ease. I am certain that it will prove useful to you. Please do not forget my request. Let me just look in my backpack. Oh, could it be you have brought me an ancient arowana? Whoa. An ancient arowana. With this, I can finally finish repairing your treasured Zora armor. Please wait for just a short moment while I hurry to the workshop. My next purchase, though, it's going to be a 2 terabyte external SSD. I know it's not as good as an internal M.2. For gameplay purposes, it's so fast. As long as you've got it on a USB 3 or USB-C connection, you're not even going to notice. It's going to be fine. The PS5 might notice if you tried to hook up an external instead of the internal stuff. But for gameplay stuff, and SSD, even externally connected, you're going to be flying. It's going to be fine. I'm so honored to reunite you with this item, dear Link. Yes, yes. Your armor is as good as new. Armor crafted by a past Zora princess for her future husband. Wearing it would allow even a Hillian to swim up waterfalls. Please take this along with our well wishes. <sighs> I'm so happy I was able to return it to its pristine state. It is a precious piece of armor after all. As you well know, the Zora armor allows even a Hillian like you to climb waterfalls with ease. Of course, it will not help you with climbing waters that have been tainted with sludge. <laughs> However, with your great skill, Sir Link, I am certain you will find a way up that waterfall, clouded though it is. Whoa. Please use this well for your investigation into Princess Zelda's whereabouts. So I only get the one piece then? She's not returning the headpiece or the boots or the pants? Let's see. Tall, tall peak. I guess we could try investigating over that way. So our armor collection continues to grow. Fusing anything to a weapon increases its durability. looking ruins. That actually looks like a pretty good site to pick up Zonite. <laughs> T 
tall, tall peak is this way. It can't be terribly tall, ironically enough. stuff. She doesn't have them? Okay. One thing is for sure, Starfield looks so good we don't need to burden our systems with added ENBs. Not yet. One of the things that has me salivating so much about Starfield, though, is not just the game as it is, and it already looks ridiculous. But just imagine what it's going to look like in three to five years after the modding community's had a while to get established and entrenched with it. Or less, since we're going to have a modding community powered up by generative AI. <laughs> so maybe six months instead of five years. I didn't mean that. I wanted this. That was wrong. Come on, Link. There we go. Oh, we have a little bully over here. What's going on? Oh, I don't want to be using my axe. Ow. Rude. Excuse me, sir. Give me those. My bug collecting was already going badly, so being attacked was just a sting on top of a bug bite. Here, this is one of my favorite foods. Would you take some as thanks for helping me? I will take that. Thank you. Hi. Are you enjoying your own travels? Are you catching every last bug you see? I certainly try to. Since we're both here, let me buzz your ears with some bug facts. Ah. If you look around, you'll definitely be able to find cold darners in this region, which is handy since you can combine them with monster parts in a pot to make a heat resistance elixir. I've been looking to get my hands on one, but they keep slipping through my grasp. Mm. I know it pays to chill out when you're trying to catch insects, but I'm finding it really tough to tone down my excitement. <laughs> And that's it for Dr. Water's Insect Crash Course. I hope we meet again somewhere soon. Modding is going to be absolutely nuts. Oh, I've been seeing blues for a while now, but yeah, Greeny. I haven't seen silver yet, but uh, I'm sure that's coming. Rip. that down there. Ah. Ah, no! Don't blow my drumstick off the ledge. Oh, that's, that's for an axe. You know what I'm not seeing a whole lot of around here? I don't see much in the way of shrines. Red, then blue, then black, and then silver. Okay, I don't remember if I've seen black yet. I think, I want to say I have, but I might be remembering Breath of the Wild. And it's also possible that I'm just confusing it with a different monster type altogether. Oh god, it's this area. I remember this area. This is where I spent a million years trying to figure out where the frickin' shrine was. I bet you there's one out here too again. I did finally find that off-stream, by the way. 
I kept going around and around that area trying to track down where the shrine was and it turned out there was actually a cave in this wall which it doesn't seem to be there anymore which is weird or is it I want to say it was right about here or maybe slightly lower Oh, sturdy long stick, huh? Oh, that's, wait, that's a boulder. I want iron. If I can get an iron lump, that would be better. Yes, we have iron lumps. I watched you fight about black. Oh, okay, so we have seen black then. I was thinking more specifically of Bokoblins. Do they all level up at the same pace? There we go. Oh god, okay. I have a theory about these things. Huh? Was this not the way to hunt new village? I should say not. I can't get lost now, not after spending all that time with the Gerudo doll maker learning to make sand seal plushes. I refuse to give up on my dream of handing these out to the school kids. I can't wait to see their faces light up when I give them these stuffed toys. I hope I can remember not to glare at them. Oh, I know. I should practice my routine so I can hand out the toys with a smile. Good evening, children. I'm the sand seal lady. Mm, not much pizzazz to it. How about... Evening, kids. It's good to seal ya. Everyone sealing good? Ugh. Fake it till you make it, I guess. But it'll be worth it to see those kids beaming with joy. <laughs> you startled me. Give a gal some warning next time. Ah, my toys. I worked so hard to make the ten of them, and now this. How am I supposed to gather all these, all these, all these up by myself? Ah. Oh, now you want to help. Then start picking them up and loading them on the cart. I'll make you a deal. If you get all ten of them for me, I'll pay you. But if you're serious about helping, I want to see them all in the cart at the end. Let's see if my wild idea actually works. Oh, and you got to be careful loading the toys. They tend to fall out if they're not all the way in. I want to get moving, so make this quick, okay? I'll be keeping track of time. Uh, hold on a sec. You're not thinking of pocketing any of my seals, I hope. These are handmade for children. I said I'd pay you if you bring them back, but this is kind of your fault, so... Mind giving me a 20 rupee deposit? You'll get it back once you're done. Ah, oh, thanks. Well, feeling confident? Then get to it. We'll see if this works. I don't know if it's going to work. Okay, just let me do the thing. I want to see if this actually has a chance of... No, okay. Well, it might work. Come on, do the... Okay. Not as fast as I was hoping, but it'll probably work. About the same pace, yeah, but you still get outliers. Okay, that makes sense. That works. I love Hello Games and what they've done with No Man's Sky. I'm sorry, but Starfield has me saying bon voyage. I'll still probably check out No Man's Sky once in a while. Now, 
where are the others? Because that's only six of them. Oh god, they didn't go down here, did they? Where are the rest? My seals went flying, but they didn't scatter that far. Come back here. Okay, there's some of them there. Oh, that's all of them. Okay. I suspect Starfield's most boring planet will be more interesting than No Man's Sky's best. I think you're probably right. But at the end of the day... A Starfield only has a thousand. Or, actually, they keep saying more than a thousand, which I have to wonder. How many more than a thousand? There we go. No way, you're done picking them all up? That was fast. Ah! Nice work. I didn't think you'd manage to load them all up in so short a time. So yeah, here's your pay. Your deposit is included in that. I'll get this smiling thing down, eventually, I hope. Anyway, I clearly need more practice at it. So leave me alone, would you? Oh. Oh, oh. That's an awful lot of things. I uploaded that Rocks Alive clip to YouTube and I'm laughing at this comment on it. Oh, what happened, Greeny? Someone saw how many batteries I have was like, what the, are you glitching your batteries? Nope, not a glitch. That's awesome. Oh, crap. We need to find caves. I just realized I'm completely out of bombs. Okay, let's look at the map. We gotta go back to Central Hyrule. I'm sure I've got some caves located that I never fully explored. Um, where's Central Hyrule? Here we are. Yeah, for example, we never did this one. And I think we've got an Addison over here we need to do too. So let's go to Tukarok Shrine. Uh, we are in the general sort of vicinity of Zora's Domain. I reckon they also have a system or two in reserve for crafted expansion content. I'm really hoping that they're going to expand on the procedural generation content with expansions. I mean, obviously I would like handcrafted content too. I want everything because I'm very hard to satisfy in that regard, but... I definitely want more procedural generation stuff, too. If they could bump up the number of uh, potential systems we can visit to, say, several billion, I would be pretty happy. How are you doing, Kellen Ray? It's really good to see you. The wife was asking. She was told about that quest. Which quest was that? I can show you more particularly, it's in this area here, in Ulria Grotto. Haven't found that quest, but just thought of a different outcome. 
it seems to be a little bit similar to... I want to say to the um, Addison stuff, except that it's not quite as numerous. She's an NPC that you run into in various places throughout the land. What the heck, Kellen Ray? Oh, the Hewn Quest with the toys. Yeah, you. I've run into her before in a different area. So there's several different ones that you can find where you have to interact with her and figure out what's going on. Thank you so much for 36 frickin' months. That's amazing, Kellen Ray. If I'm not mistaken, would that not be three years? That's incredible. Let's see if we can't finish this off and get some stuff. More seeds are good. More lizards are good, although kind of optional. And bomb flowers, if possible, would be nice too. Gimme. Gimme. There we go. Thank you. Uh, uh, yes. Oh, whoops. I discovered I am maxed out on regular bright bloom seeds. 999. Well done. That's amazing. Okay, they've got lots of weapons here. Oh, thank you for the shout-out. Jim, how are you doing today? I hope all's going well for you. Guys, if you're not following Jim Racer, I'm so sorry I neglected to mention anything earlier when you popped in, but uh, Jim is an amazing friend of the channel. Awesome, awesome streamer. Recently upgraded his system in a big way and does a lot of racing games as well as a lot of space games. So there's lots of good stuff to see over there. Go check him out if you're not already. I can guarantee you're not going to regret it for one moment. Very nice. Okay. Oh, see, now I need those arrows. Damn it, and there's not one flower to be found in here, is there? Soldier's Spear Spear. Although now decayed, this lightweight metal spear was made for royal soldiers. Because it's light and easy to handle, it enables quicker charged attacks. Very low on giant bright blooms, though. Yeah, because you probably do the same thing I do and use a lot of them, right? Just at the day job? Oh, uh, that's... yeah. Okay. Hip. Did you have a chance to... Oh. <laughs> that wasn't what I had in mind, but okay. Uh, did you get a chance to check out all the gaming stuff that's been happening over the last few days? There are so many amazing looking games coming out. Star Wars Outcasts. Hmm. The day job allows me to do all the other crap, yeah. Or sorry, out, you're right, out, outlaws, not outcasts. 
Although, now I kind of want a Star Wars Outcasts game, because that would be fun too. That could not have been better timing. Nope, not Dazzle Fruit. Come on. Oh. Uh, where'd it go? There it is. There you are. A strange crystal left by a defeated bubble frogs in caves. Its eerie blue glow may entice you to collect even more. So that's that cave done. Outlaws is at the top of my list next year. Same. Same, Jim. Same. It looks so good. Oh. Rude. You were supposed to fly at me. Oh, well. Oh, did I heat my weapon up accidentally by holding it over the torch? Oh, whoops. Yes, I did. Can confirm. Nope. All right, so that cave is done. Now, I remember there was a cave near... Wait. Sahasra Slope Skyview Tower. No, it wasn't that one. There was a t cave... Oh, there's, there's one there. We need to finish that. But there's one near a tower that we need to go back to. Was it in this area? Deep Back Bay Cave? No, it's definitely not that one. I want to say it was more centrally located. There were a couple of wells. We dropped into it. Oh, I think it was this one. Poplar Foothills Skyview Tower. Excavation site, south well. Yeah, I think this is it. What about that Avatar game? It looks very Far Cry-esque and right up your alley. That looks good, but it's not going to make my top 10. It's definitely one that I would like to try out sometime, but I don't really... I like the Avatar movie, the first one. I haven't actually gotten around to seeing the second one yet. I just don't have the built-in, ingrained, deep interest in the Avatar franchise. But it is something that I would certainly like to check out at some point. I'm just not going to make it a serious top-of-the-list priority kind of thing. You know, once... Uh, damn it. Okay. Once I've got a little bit of a break in my schedule, that would probably be a really good potential one to do. Because it does look like they've got a pretty good story and character for that one. That looks pretty nice. <laughs> There was stuff in here. I have to admit, I'm not just randomly finding this. I saw somebody do it and realized, oh man, I screwed up and missed a crap ton of stuff. Including that. But you're right, it does look kind of Far Cry-esque and... I mean, it's Ubisoft. I tend to like Ubisoft games. So definitely something that I would be interested in potentially checking out. Just not... I'm not going to put off like Baldur's Gate 3 or Starfield or Tears of the Kingdom or Star Wars Outlaws or anything like that to do it. Those are my... far and away my, my highest priorities. 
Okay, it looks like we've got a cave here we need to check out. So we're going to go rebuild my favorite truck. And then we're going to take a look at that cave. And, oh, geez, I just realized we're supposed to be on break. Uh, and I need to make tea, so I apologize for people who are having to watch ads. I'm completely spaced out on this. I thought we were waiting on ads to start, not ads are in progress. So I will be back in a few minutes, folks, probably closer to seven or eight minutes because I'm making tea and then we'll carry on with this. So I'll, if you need to get up yourselves, now's a real good time. Oh, okay. Battle it is. Now we got to try and murder them really, really fast. Oh, I didn't actually want to murder Liam. Oh, sorry, Jeb. Did I forget the minor matter of the parachute? Hey! Hey! That's my tank! I'm starting to see the flaw in my carefully prepared plan here. Oh my god. Well. That's a hell of an intro. God damn it. How did I. Oh. Oh my god. I should scan it first. Oh shh. Things on its legs are glowing. I think it's charging up. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, these things are so terrifying! And now I'm locked into a cage match! There he is! Shoot the kill! Do I have to hit block for this? Let's see. Dude, I haven't moved. I'm holding a giant double-bladed glow stick. Really? I think you got it. Okay. Right. Sorry. So, how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. I don't even know where to start. Grunt, you apologize to the nice man for setting his car on fire. Fine. I'm sorry for setting your car on fire. <laughs> oh my god, what was that? This thing's rag calling. Holy crap. Actually, hang on. Confidently, you cast the calm spell. Why, how cute. You cast the calm spell and the monster visibly relaxed. Why, now it's calmly and relaxedly ripping you to shreds and eating you. <sighs> you should have studied harder. Wow. What? What is that?
Oh my god. Oh crap. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. What? Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. That's amazing. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. Too nice. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that was okay. live grenade there. I'm sure that won't be a problem. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot. <laughs> Whoops. No. Uh, not before six. My wife is very insistent. Your target is down. Now head calmly towards an exit. Not perfect. But I'll take it. Oh. Uh. Wow. Okay. Maybe I'll get one more stamina bar before we try that again. <laughs> Personal guarantee here that you will not regret. Oh my god. That fox just got nailed. And now these guys are back. What the hell? There we go. Two for one. Tornado outbreak. Great. Just what we needed. A fast-moving line of storms gallop across the darkening summer sky with tornadoes ominously forming underneath. We're certainly getting a tour of the variety of natural disasters that can happen in the game. Okay, I should have given him a vibroblade a long time ago. If you'll pardon the phrasing, he's a frickin' beast with a vibro sword. Holy crap! I think I got him. Oh my god. <laughs> I did. Okay, we have damage. Whoa. Ah. Uh, excuse me? I've never had that, that happen before. Holy crap. I'm starting to think that maybe I should not have brought the Cyclops down here. Damn it. Okay. Let's take out the mind flare. I'll help however I can. Maritime measures. In the great maritime city of Babylon, the introduction of standardized units has not been well received. Already mistakes have been made with quantities of materials and engineering calculations. 
Shipbuilders and merchants alike warn that their commercial interests will be harmed if they are forced to adopt the new measurements. Should they be given an exemption? Hell fucking no. Enforce. The city will need to adapt even if it harms industry. We'll need authority oversight to ensure compliance. Lock down on Babylon for 20 turns. Don't give me this garbage. We're too dumb to make the switch. Mistakes will happen. Ugh, sorry about that, guys. That looks like it took a bit longer than I expected. Hey, Nixes, what's going on? Thank you, Kellen Ray. Okay. Oh. Oh, right, right. I forgot the fairies up there. I don't think we've actually gone and visited the fairy flower. I guess one of these days I've got to continue. Maybe that's what we'll do while we're going around looking for caves and such. We are still trying to do the, uh, you know, visit all the stables thing for Pen. I also need to visit them to find the fairies and the uh, the the uh, the musician guys. Because I think they have something to do with opening up the fairies, it sounds like. Mm. Oh, the nerve of you coming here. Please go away. You're just a monster who's after my blessing of clothing enhancement. The world outside my butt is filthy with gloom and full of monsters. Don't try to deny it. I know it's true. My older sister Tara told me. Even the music I love is gone, and until I hear the sound of a flute out in the world, I'll never go outside again. I moved near the stable to grant my blessings to travelers. If I heard the sound of a flute played by a musician in a troop, I'd feel cheered up enough to come out and face the world. Okay. But for now, we're really mostly looking to rebuild my favorite truck. Or at least a version of it. Whoops. Where is that? There it is. And done. Okay. Coming through. Make way. Sorry. Now we gotta be coming up on that cave at some point relatively soon. Where was it? Oh, it's actually still a fair ways ahead. Okay. Looks like that would be it right there. Oh, right. I didn't do this one because I was running low on bomb flowers, which I still am. <laughs> but at least I've got a few. Good God, what is with this cave? It never stops. Oh, it stopped.
Don't you dodge my shots. That's unbelievably rude. I'm sorry. Hey, stop that. I'm trying to murder you. There we go. got no shortage of weapons I can choose to take. I have a little space for some. Nope. Oh, man. My last bomb again. And that wasn't even breakable stone. Are you kidding me? That looks like it should be breakable. See? That was fully breakable. What the hell? I feel so cheated right now. There's the bubble frog. Oh my god. Breakable, but apparently bomb-proof. I probably hit the wrong spot or something. Okay, I need a claymore with some kind of boulder. Not a spear. What do you mean I can't carry anymore? no convenient boulders here, do they? I mean, I could do rocks. I mean, I suppose I could do rocks. Let's be honest, there's no shortage of claymores in here if I run out. are so much better. Gimme. I hope whatever's back here is worth it. This is insanity.
I feel like the 12th Doctor in that episode where he has to gradually punch his way through solid diamond for billions of years. Oh, okay. I would say this is worth it. Okay. Let's see what this one's all about. Alignment of the Circles. Kyokugan Shrine. Okay, looks like we've got six circles, or is it, are there more? Oh, there are more. There's quite a few more. There's like ten circles. Okay. The alignment of the circles. I would assume they're all true neutral, but I can't be sure of that. It's not immediately obvious what we have to do other than probably place these in. So let's just give it a shot. So that's there. Okay. So that just accomplished a great big fat nothing. Now the name of the shrine was Alignment of the Circles. We're gonna have to try to figure out what that was all about and I was kind of hoping that placing those would give us some kind of a clue or hint or have some sort of reaction that would maybe point the way towards whatever it is I'm actually supposed to be doing. But that doesn't appear to be the case. So far, I've got to say, this is very uncommunicative. Welcome back, Nixus. How are you doing? It's good to see you. <laughs> Bored, lazy, and sick? I am very sorry to hear that. That does not sound fun at all. here that would give us a clue, is there? It doesn't really look like it.
I want video AI already to create countless new movies and TV series every day. I can understand the temptation, but they would probably be garbage, at least for the next few years. I have no doubt that eventually it'll get to the point where it can actually create something of quality, but I wouldn't expect that right away. Still, when you're sick and bored, I can, I can, I can see where that might be appealing. <sighs> oh, hang on. Hang on. They don't make you look up at the ceiling very often. I think I just figured this out. Maybe. No promises. Uh, is this one here? Image AI went from garbage to winning art contests in six months. Eh. Video's a whole different thing, though. There's a few advancements that need to be made. And not the least of the advancements that need to be made is that they need to be able to write better than they can. Like, image generation for video right now, you still basically get random character appearances for every frame. And the writing that gets done... It's decent writing, but it's not good. One, two, three, and four. Is that not correct? Oh, no, that is not correct. Where's the extra one? doesn't belong there. Okay. Not sure if more entertainment is good or bad. More temptation to procrastinate. There we go. That's true. Sneaky. 
Video AI can be used to help people learn more effectively. Yeah, potentially. I find ChatGPT is better for that, but that's just because of the way I specifically learn. I know YouTube has proven that lots and lots of people out there really like their video tutorials, even when video is really the worst possible medium for a tutorial. But, you know, for visual stuff, it helps. Having both would be pretty good. There we go. Oh, I guess I really need to get one of my new hearts one of these days. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Oh, I just realized too, I lost my truck because I went into sh a shrine. That's okay. We're still near the stable. I can zip back and remake it if I need to. You may be able to build designs even if you are short on materials, but results may vary. Very true. Nope, no, I can't do that here. Still trying to learn that new RPG system, but other than that, you're doing swell. Good to see you, Wolfen. Learning a new... Oh, what happened? Did I come up into water? That's interesting. Okay. Fallout 2D20 is a very complicated system. Nice. Nope. That's not what I want. Role-playing for Fallout does sound pretty cool. I've never taken a look at any of the TTRPG systems out there for it, but it would be pretty good to do. You've never played role-playing games? You should take a look into it, Nixus. There, believe it or not, this might sound counterintuitive and it might not sound like it's very fun at first, but there are even games that are specifically designed to be played by one person solo. Sorry. I didn't mean to clobber you with a the wheel. There we go. Ah, so normal role playing game is what you're talking about, then, Wolfen. I find grid based combat systems to be somewhat alien. What happens if you run over people with the car? Not much, actually. They kind of react and they scream and they go oof, but it doesn't actually damage them. Oh! There's a freaking meteor up there. It's a shame I'm not actually going to be able to get them, but that's okay. 
Let's run this guy over. Oh, wait just one half a moment. He's not a... No, he's not silver. Okay, never mind. Okay, so we're not up to silver yet. Wait a minute. Why did it use Zonite to build one of the wheels? Did I not have all four wheels there? We may have to take a trip down into the depths. That probably used a bunch of the zone I, I had because I don't have very much. Yeah, that basically sapped most of what I've got. Okay, so we're going to have to go down there eventually. Uh, speaking of going, I don't have any idea where I'm actually headed at the moment. Let's get some map markers for some of the entrances that I don't have yet. And, um... Crap, I don't remember what that was supposed to represent. Temple of Time, Ruins... Uh, maybe what we'll do... Where are we? Changed my mind. We're gonna go see if we can get back to Lookout Landing. I need to get my heart. Oh. Want that. And there was something else I wanted to do there. I've got Korok seeds, lots of them. I want more inventory space. We need to do that before what's-his-name moves. Enjoy your lurk, Nixus. Grid-based combat's a bit easier since if it's 5x5, five five, then you can easily guesstimate how much you need to move before attacking. I actually... I prefer it imaginary, like, theater of the mind combat. I do not find grid-based combat easier. I find it easier to visualize what's going on, but I find it tedious to calculate and move things around on the grid and having to reposition everything. I like being more fluid with assumptions. Okay, we have a convenient boulder here. I'm going to... Oh, this is almost gone. Let's destroy the fused material. That was not... Damn it. I don't know what I just destroyed, but that's not what I had in mind. How dare you, sir? What? Holy crap. Oh, right. What's his face? Not today, sir. One big thing I've noticed is everyone is squishy and players can start off with a 44 pistol if they wanted to. Squishy is good, as long as opponents are squishy too. 
Theater of the Mind, it also allows map-based combat in the sense that each piece on the road can be a zone of differing areas depending on where the current attacking player is. Okay. from the air. How cute. Look out landing. There you are. I'm over the wrong way. XP by scavenging and setting up settlements. That's cool. I like that. I like it when experience is not limited just to combat, because combat is often boring. battery recharge a moment. And that should be way more than we need to get over here. I'll just leave that there for the time being. Yes, do. There you are, buddy. There's a shop here, huh? I smell Korok seeds on you. One thing I really enjoy for 2D20, it already has a bunch of quest booklets out with very interesting items to possibly award the players with. Nice. I still smell Korok seeds. Yes, let's uh, increase that weapon stash. Okay, I guess that's all the expansion we're getting this time. Nice. Even when I'm watching Critical Role, I zone out during the combat segments, but I'm hooked on all the other storytelling and player interaction. I gotta be honest, I have not watched Critical Role at all since the last time I did Critical Role watch on the Discord. So basically, as soon as I switched my schedule, I haven't had the time. I would kind of like to... Thank <laughs> you. 
but I'm also kind of liking not having the pressure to try to keep up. Because it's a lot of time every week. if I just steal this stuff, right? More focused on reading when you're not playing anything? I've been focusing more on doing other types of work. Like getting all the shrine videos done, trying to work on clips, trying to work on my script coding that I'm doing. Oh, that's not where I want that. <laughs> You know, actually, that's better. <laughs> there, I like that. It's even bigger in person. Hi there, welcome to Rolling Pastures. I have to say, the rumors don't do lookout landing justice. It's full of people and way bigger than I expected. I'm from Hotno Village, east of Dueling Peaks. This is actually my first time leaving Nekluda. Maybe that's why everything is so impressive. It's a totally different world. Whoa. Leaving made me appreciate Hotno Village, though. It's so laid back and idyllic. You can really relax. Plus, fashion's become really popular there recently. You've really got to visit. Ooh. Now, how about sampling some of Hotno Village's finest? Ah. I've got a good feeling you're going to like my stock. Take a look. What? Every single one? But five of them will be 60 rupees. You sure? <laughs> Thanks a ton. Ooh. Ah. I don't have any goat butter, so that'll get me started with a little supply. So that is our supply of Korok seeds taken care of for the time being. Let's see about getting that extra heart. Well, I'm trying to do everything I can to make it easy on myself, Winters. But it is busy. It is pretty busy. Getting good results, though. After I switched my aspect ratio on the clip videos, like the shorts that I do, to 1080 by 1920 vertical orientation, they've really started taking off on Instagram. I never got anything, any kind of photo, any kind of video, up above 100 views ever on Instagram for years. Until I did that. And then, you know, I've just done like maybe four or five videos in that aspect ratio. And most of them seems to do at least 500 views. And I've had one go up to like 1,500. Or, uh, you know, uh, 15,000, sorry. So it, it's pretty wild, the things that can impact the performance. Um, yeah, we'll do a heart. I do plan on getting that most recent quest booklet for Fallout, though I won't be able to let the players experience it till they're high level due to the content being quite difficult. Lovecraft might enjoy this one specifically. Fair enough. Go and bring peace to the world. The new Twitch vertical t clip tool is really awesome. Need to use it more. I did one as a test for a YouTube short. I used it once as well. And then I actually stopped using it. I mean, I agree that it's a really awesome tool. 
I just prefer to do my own layout for it. Although I'm thinking about maybe trying it again just to download the results instead of directly sharing it and then doing, like, I like to put the captions and stuff in it instead of just uploading it directly as is. Yeah, I'm going to gradually redo my layouts and stuff like that as well. Uh, right now, I don't have Instagram referenced anywhere on my layout. I've just got YouTube and Twitter. I might replace Twitter with uh, Blue Sky because I'm on that now. And I might also consider adding Instagram. All right. That didn't work out so good. Let's maybe not kill my ground clearance completely. Better. Where are we actually going? Oh, you know what? I had marked that Addison location and then we never actually went and visited. I think maybe we'll go do that one. Three minute warning on ads, guys. I promise I will try to actually pick up on when ads are beginning this time instead of streaming for two minutes right through them. So it looks like we want to go this way. Dazzle fruit. Find these more on Sky Islands than on the ground, I think. That's the leaf I had marked there. It's to indicate dazzle fruit. Oh, this is fun. I actually did this encounter once already, but I did it off stream while I was resource hunting. You've got an encampment of the sentinels and an encampment of the uh, bokoblins right there. separated by a bit of a fortification. So if you take a fire fruit... Oh, this is not going to work, because, damn it, it would have to start raining right now, wouldn't it? Okay. Well, when it's not raining, you can take a bit of fire fruit and burn down the barricade between them, and then they will go to war and wipe each other out. And you can mop up whatever survivors might still exist. There he is. What's up, Madison? 
What do we got here? Here for you, even wet. Okay, so... This looks very much like... Oh, they don't have one of the larger boards, do they? Okay, that's fine. You should need it. That's going to be a problem. Oh, it's you. Thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here, too. I will give him my full support as always. No wind or rain will get in my way. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. What? Are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. He's standing. How's the president standing? Ah! Oh, ads are in progress, guys. We'll continue this dialogue in just a moment. I'll be right back. If you need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a real good time. I'll meet you back here in three and a half to five. Sorry. Oh, we have a thing. You don't scare me. Ah. Oh god. Oh god. Ah. Oh, you dumb fuck. Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> uh. Lived. Take that jerk. Look at these graphical upgrades. Fancy. Um. No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. that that I always forget about it. This ought to encourage me. What? I expect to be well paid Nubby? for the money. What the heck? Nabi, thank you. I've no idea what that is. You don't have to tell me it can be a surprise. I will do an unboxing on stream after that arrives. Okay. I am back.
There we go. All right, let's get him secured while he's still standing. Thank you, Greeny. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. Thank you, Winters. Veggie rice balls. And sleepover ticket. Okay, so we don't need this stamp anymore. Now, what else can we do? I guess we haven't really done anything in the Appling Forest yet. We could take a drive through there. Where is that? Okay, so that's on this side of the river. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, there was more building material right here. Take these. That's a pretty light forest. Damn it. Well. <sighs> oh, no. You have to be really careful about... Oh. Oh. I'll take that. to be really careful using your axe around your car if it's made of wood or if parts of it are made of wood. Why do I get such a bad feeling about this area? Oh, this looks like some stuff. Oh, Addison, what's up? Interesting. Okay.
Ah, it's that time again, is it? It's probably too tall for my purpose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, very much too tall. Oh, it's you. Thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here, too. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. What? Are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. He's standing. Ah. How's the president standing? Ah. That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. All right, let's get him secured while he's still standing. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. <laughs> Definitely could use that. Thank you very much. And I can't help but notice that there's a golden apple right there. So, my car is still okay. Blood Moon is still rising. Bloodstained moon shines upon the land. The endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Come on. There you go. I don't know if this is long enough. Let's try it and find out. Oh, yep. That will work. Actually, I want to test something. not the easiest weapon to aim for that purpose. I'll just use the regular rock. Apparently, it's supposed to be possible to use a rock-fused weapon to solve these things. But probably a spear is not the way to go. I don't know, Greedy. Maybe if I find another Korok puzzle like this, I'll see if that can be done.
Boy Dom, how's it going? It's good to see you. hell was that? Who shot me? Oh. Well, I don't know, but we're gonna go take that golden apple. And I'm gonna repair my car while we're at it. Oh. There we are. Oh, here's a different kind of Korok puzzle. What's going on, little guy? You just watched a funny clip? What was going on? My friend and I got separated. Just imagine Ganondorf just sitting there waiting for Link, sipping on tea and getting sad because Link is too distracted to come play. I love it. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Yeah. I'm so tired though, I can't move. I can relate. <laughs> come on, sir. Was the bridge right there? Okay. Or said bridge. That would be a battle talus. I'm sure that's nothing to be concerned about. Whoops. Sorry. Close enough. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. Uh, it does. It will float with the logs, but it really has no effective means of propulsion unless I stick a fan or something on it. Or I would have to do something else. Like, it would make a perfectly serviceable raft right now. In fact, I probably don't even technically need the logs because I think the tires provide enough flotation for it, but... 
I need a way to make it go, so I would have to do, like, the paddle boat thing or something again. Only what I've done in the past with the one board on two of the wheels is just not enough. You can't make headway against the rivers. Against a still lake, it would probably work slowly, but uh, it's not a good solution. I have seen paddle boats that use a lot more boards to give it a lot more pushing surface against the water, and it seems to work pretty well. Oh, crap. Don't notice me. Also, looks like we maybe got a cave in this area. Let's go over there and see what's what. Okay, so I need better suspension to really make navigating this terrain easier. Ooh. Ugh. Ugh. What do we got? What's over here? That looks like a thing. Oh, damn it. Missed it. Okay. Now, have we already done this cave? It actually looks familiar. Oh, wait, this is the Misko's treasure cave. Why do I want to say I've been here? I don't think I finished it, though. Oh, 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 I remember this cave. That thing, that's a talus. Yeah, we're not doing this one right now either. You know what? These logs are kind of garbage. They are good for flotation, but they are also even better for getting in my way. Difficult enough sometimes as it is without them lowering my clearance. Interesting. What is this? Nope. Oh. Uh. Ow. Rude. Do I have a good shield for this guy? I do not.
Come on. What are you waiting for? I'm ready for you. Ow. I still hate these things. They're the worst. Oh, I still need more food that's just purely for healing, too. I have any shock fruit left. Probably not. I think I used it all. That's unfortunate. There you go. Button. Also, this, uh, yeah, the rain is not helping me out here. Oh, do we have them? Get out of here. It's out raining anymore. Knock it off, and I don't mean me. go where did the chest go what the heck oh I think the chest broke okay hey
Not today, sir. I said not today. Nope. Holy fire fruit. Here's the chest. I'll take it. Now, where are we? We're still in the Krenel Hills. Let's get out of the hills. This is just bad territory altogether. Battle Talus doesn't seem to be hanging around the bridge anymore, so we're gonna cross back over again, I think. Oh. After we check out this chest that I noticed earlier and didn't stop for. Oh, oh never mind. There's the Battle Talus, but... Oh, he is coming closer. Okay. But he'll be too slow to catch us. We'll be fine. Okay, so we're actually really close to the castle and lookout landing then. Maybe... I kind of want to turn around. Ah, what the heck. What's the worst a battle talus could do to us? Let's see if we can rush past him. It'll be fine, right? I'll just let the battery charge up fully before we do this. Maybe taking him on right at the bridgehead is a bad idea. Let's let him turn around. Because I really don't have any way to dodge if I'm actually still on the bridge. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Coming through. Make way, please. Okay. He no longer exists in our world. We are fine. We're all good.
Okay, what do we have up here? I see a golden apple. Make that two golden apples. I see monsters. I see... What is that? Is that a shrine? I think I see a shrine. That's got to be a shrine, right? I think we're going to go that way. Oh, there's a stable there, too, which is good. That will... Oh, we've been here before. We already did this fight. Savre. Yeah. Things were looking a little dicey, but you pulled me out of the fire. Oh. Maybe this home-cooked meal can convey my gratitude. It's not much, but I hope you'll enjoy it. Deep-fried drumstick actually sounds pretty delicious. A drumstick fried in high-quality oil. It's full of out-of-this-world flavor. Oh. We meet again. I'm here because I heard there are caves in this area. You too, I take it. No? In any case, I'm happy to see you and ready to share some more cave info. Are you familiar with hardy truffles? They're valuable and delicious fungi. You used to be able to find them on the surface, but lately I've only been able to find them in caves and wells. Mm. Hardy truffles are black and tend not to stand out, so it's important to keep a watchful eye out when searching for them. The rumor has it a few lucky people have stumbled onto white hardy truffles that have grown to a massive size. Oh. What a blessing it would be to cook with such a fantastic ingredient. Oh. I hope our paths will cross again somewhere. So long and safe travels. Speaking of cooking, let's. I'm not going to do a lot, but let's do at least a little bit. Uh, I'm going to use those and those, and where's my other general ingredients? Hillian shroom is good. My rule herb, and let's do a little bit of meat. We'll do a robber drumstick. Very true, Kalanai. Steamed tomato. Actually, you know, I have some oil. I wouldn't mind trying a little bit of that. Deep fried drumstick. Only two hearts, though. <laughs> Meaty rice balls. Mushrooms are gross? Really, Greeny? I'm a little surprised. The planet I spawned in on in the No Man's Sky expedition is a mushroom planet, and my first thought was Gord would hate this. I actually don't mind the flavor of mushrooms, believe it or not. It's the texture I object to. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, so you don't get anything special by using the oil. Fried egg and rice. <laughs> Meat and rice bowl. Okay, I think we'll leave it at that. I've got lots of food I can use to heal up now. We've talked about this. Yeah, but you know my memory. Olives and mushrooms are you two things you refuse to eat besides the meats. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Interestingly enough, olives and mushrooms are two things I also dislike, but I'm willing to eat them on pizza under limited conditions because generally speaking the pizzas I get tend to have enough flavor that I can't really tell that they're there. Okay, obviously we've been here because Addison was here. Hinox is here. Goron is passing through. Who are you, sir? Hey, good to see you. I was just thinking it'd be nice to talk to someone. I'm glad you said something. Hey, where are you headed? As for me, I'm going to heal up at the old hot spring while staying at Foothill Stable. Lots of hot springs are bubbling up near Foothill Stable to the east. Visiting hot springs every day is good for you. That's what I say anyway. Okay, which is Foothill Stable? I don't think we've been to the one that we've marked, so let's find out, shall we? That almost looks like a road or a path, but there's nothing on the map. Oh, what the heck? What the heck? What is that? Is that Balloon Guy, by any chance? It is Balloon Guy. Nice. You would actually probably like the way I prepare my mushrooms then, Gord. I slice them thin, then fry them up with a tiny amount of oil, onion powder, and garlic salt. Maybe. I tend to like it better when they're done into something like a mushroom stock. Or, like, completely ground up. I think even thin sliced, it would still bother me a little bit. Although it'd be better than thick slices. That just grosses me out. Oh. Still up and about after sundown, eh? Oh. Welcome. You found your way to Woodland Stable. Oh. Thank you for supporting the Stable Association. Since this is your first time here, we'll add one point to your pony points. Now then, once again... Link, welcome to our stable. If you catch a wild horse and bring it here, you can register it. Not gonna happen. Please visit the inside counter if you want to lodge with us. Now, how can I help you? The underpants stuff? I don't think so. It wasn't on my map. It's on my map now, but it wasn't earlier, like just a few seconds ago. I think this is the first time I've actually made it to the stable itself. I know I've been to the area because we saw Addison back there, or where Addison had been. But also, see? 
no well on my map. Now we got a well on the map. I love the reindeer sound. Oh, this is Woodland Stable? Oh, so it is. You are correct. I should know better than to challenge you. I hope he's okay. You there, traveler. Do you have business in this cave by any chance? I'm sorry to say, but right now it's... Big Brother! It's no use. Colton. Please, it's impossible. Absurd even to try to turn yourself into a legendary creature. A Satori, no less. Absurd. You should be working on the monster collection with me instead of chasing a silly dream like that. I will never give up, Kilton. I've always wanted to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. I do not care what it takes. All I need to do is get my fingers on a bubble gem and then I'm sure to turn into a Satori. And the rumors are true. There is a creature in the cave called the Bubble Frog and it glows just like a Satori. Uh, but I didn't think it would be so up high up on the wall or run about all nimbly bimbly like that. In that case, little brother, why not get someone to help you catch a Bubble Frog? Yes, yes. Do you remember all that treasure you collected? You could offer that in trade. The Hunt for Bubble Gems. Traveler, did you hear in my big brother talking? If I'm going to make my dream come true, I must get my fingers on a bubble gem. Oh, but the bubble frog is so very nimbly bimbly and hard to catch. You want to hear about my dream? Well, it's simple, really. I dream of becoming a Satori. You know, the creature of myth. Satori are legendary creatures that have been spotted all over Hyrule. Piercing eyes, bluish-white fur. Oh, how I've admired them since I was a wee Colton. And then I read the ancient texts and they told me how to transform myself, transform me, Colton, into a Satori. For it to work, I must find a bubble frog, a strange creature that loves dark caves and glows bluish white like a Satori. Then I have to collect a bubble gem, which is a bobble that bubble frogs drop when they're feeling weak. That's why I chased after the bubble frog lurking in the cave. I wanted to get my fingers on that gem. But who knew a bubble frog could gamble about like that, so nimbly bimbly. I want to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. I'll do whatever it takes. Well, I'm sorry. But that is my wish and my dream and my reason for doing such things. So if you get hold of a bubble gem, please give it to me. I'll give you a treasure in trade, I swear. <laughs> That's a bubble gem. Colton, is it the real thing? That perfect shape and the faint blue glow. It's a real bubble gem, as real as can be. You did it. Now I can transform into a Satori, just like the ones I adore. Thank you so very much. Please take this gifty in return. Nice. See, I collect all sorts of monstrous treasures. That is, monster parts and goods that make you look like a monster. The mask I gave you was made to look just like a Bokoblin, so much so that even a Bokoblin would take you for one. By all means, do try it on, then you will see what it's like to have the body and the heart of a Bokoblin. At last, at last, the time has come. Time to gobble down the bubble gem. That doesn't sound healthy, sir. Cheers and bottoms up. Oh, my body, it isn't changing, but, but, I do feel a strange sensation washing over me. It can only mean one thing. I'm on my way to becoming a Satori. And that means more. I need more of them. And I can't just gobble them up one at a time. No, that'll never work. I must collect lots and lots and eat them all at once. And to do that... Kilton, big brother, I have decided to set out on a journey to collect bubble gems. I see. Well, it seems you've made up your mind. That being the case, you have my complete support. I hope you collect as many bubble gems as you need. Big brother, thank you. Thank you. 
Traveler, I am grateful for your help, but I've decided to set out on a journey to collect bubble gems. Next time you get your fingers on a bubble gem, please, please do give it to me. If you do, I'll trade you a gifty from my collection of treasures for it. And with that, I hope we meet again sometime, somewhere. Very greedy, Voidum. Very greedy. But at least he offers fair trade. Hmm. Off he goes. I do hope he's able to make his dream come true. Hmm. Now I have to be on my way as well. I'll be making the journey to Terrytown in Akala. Hmm. But dear traveler, thank you so much for helping my little brother. And though I hate to impose, I do hope that during your travels you'll find time to assist him further. I will keep my ears wide open for news of my brother's whereabouts, so visit me in Terrytown if you need help finding him. Yes, yes, I'll be going now. The Search for Colton. Now, which one of them was the one we knew in the previous game? I don't remember. The first one, the purple one, got it. Okay. Uh, Breath of the Wild Voidum. I have never played Skyward Sword. Got here. Looks like they're. Oh. No, yeah, okay. Never mind. I really need that stealth suit. I'm not asking for hints on where it is, I'm just saying. One of these days I need to figure out where it is. Now, did my car vanish? I suspect it might have. Yeah, oh well. Okay. Well, if that's the case, maybe I will stay the night. You're a night owl, I see. Oh. Welcome to the stable. Do you wish to lodge with us? Mm. Let's do it. We've never done the Melania bed yet. Oh. Rest well. Oh. I am Melania, the god of horses who grants quicker hooves and thicker hides. Mm. In northeast Hyrule, near a stable in Akala, I am waiting. You can keep waiting, sir. We've met before and you were very rude. Oh. As thanks for lodging with us, we present you with one point. You know, I heard Lookout Landing is recruiting investigators after some kind of big history-changing discovery. I know it's got nothing to do with me, but that's the scuttlebutt. Okay. Oh. Ah. oh, there's an update on the mysterious woman seeks specific help near Outskirt Stable story from earlier. 
The mysterious aid-seeking woman was actually a member of the Yiga clan attempting to trap the swordsman Link. <laughs> the more I read about the Yiga clan, the dumber they seem. Do any of their plans ever work out? No. No, they do not. And of all people, did they really think they could trick someone like Princess Zelda's faithful swordsman Link? Uh... I always read every word of these newspapers. Oh. Pirate strike at pristine ocean resort. Ugh, pirates. And an ocean resort? That has to be the village way down in the southeast, I think. Luralin Village has been plundered following a formidable pirate attack. Survivors are left with crushed hopes. Aww. I knew it. Those poor people. I hadn't thought about it before reading this article, but I guess it makes sense that pirates might attack an ocean resort. Mm. Well, it's easier for them than mountain resorts. Hi, would you be Yiga Clan? I hope they're all right. Ah, uh, setting out this early, are we? I take it you're also headed to Goron City. This may be an odd warning, but do try to watch out for Gorons with strange rocks. The Gorons are typically so gentle and hardworking, but lately it seems the young ones have stopped working altogether and some are even playing tricks on travelers. I met one injured traveler who told me that the Gorons in question all carried strange rocks. So if you also plan to go to the city, watch out for Gorons with strange rocks. Oh. There's a restaurant up this mountain path towards the city. I pointed a traveler in that direction quite some time ago, but there's been no sign of them coming back. Hmm. It's hard not to imagine they've gotten into some sort of trouble. I really don't know what all this means. But it's the duty of a stable to keep its guests safe, so I can't help but worry. Goron City that way. Well, I don't really think we're going to Goron City just yet, but I did want to check out this shrine over here. Okay, good. One and a half minute warning. Man, the ads are really sneaking up on me today. I think this is going to let me get another heart as well, because I think I've still got three points, three, um, three lights. This should be number four. Rise and fall. Ikochio Shrine. Let's wait until I'm standing on it. Okay, so now... That's a big waterfall. Okay, so far so good. We have a thing here. We have a thing here. We have a ladder there. We have a big button. Oh, 
<laughs> Not what I had in mind. I think we want Ultra Hand. Oh, shoot. Damn it, I forgot. Ads in progress. I'll be right back. My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Well, what's your name? Well, what's your name? My name is Mancom Seepgood. So, what brings you to Melee Island, anyway? <laughs> okay, I should have given him a vibroblade a long time ago. If you'll pardon the phrasing, he's a frickin' beast with a vibro sword. Holy crap! It's not working. No power's running through any of this. We gotta get him open Stop. manually. I am the ranking officer here. State your intentions. We are under siege. Explain yourselves. What does it look like? We're here to rescue you. And yet, you cannot even open a door. <laughs> You're really not in a position to be picky, sir. Whoa there. Not that the game would ever throw anything really terrible at us. Look over there! A new water frog! Ah! Giant Chara spider? What the hell? That's so disgusting. Ooh. I hate it. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> I do have The Witcher 3 for PS4. Oh, shoot. Nice. Not bad. What? Okay, I am back. Sorry about that, folks. Something about time today. It's just slipping away so easily. Thank you, Callan Ray. Okay. I don't remember seeing a chest somewhere, though. That's the only issue here. Oh, well. I guess we'll find out when we exit if I miss something. I can always come back. Visitor to this shrine of light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil.
There we go. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Okay. Let's see what's up this way. Oh, the military training camp? Hey. How did I not even notice you? I know what you are, you monster. You've come for my blessing of clothing enhancement. I've heard this land is now smothered in gloom and overrun with monsters. Oh, I'll never hear a musical troupe pass by again and the sweet notes of its violin player. I'm staying sealed up in my flower bud for the rest of eternity, or until I hear a violin in the world once more. I came here to be close to a stable where I could offer my blessings to travelers. But now until I hear a violin played by a musician in a troupe, I can't bear the thought of ever going outside ever again. There was a Sheikah Tower nearby here, if I remember correctly. In Breath of the Wild. Good. Or at least not too, too far away. Boko Bow. Actually, there. Yeah. That's correct. Excellent. And I think I've got a clip in this area where I got absolutely wrecked by a wild animal that was just kind of running and it bowled me over and I slid down a hill. I don't know if that was this exact spot, but it was pretty near here, I want to say. You should be off. Have a fantastic day, Greeny. Thank you so much for stopping in. This looks like a thing. Minchi Woods Chasm. Great Hyrule Forest Depths. like a a root light or a light root however you prefer to say that oh and there's another one right there closer. Yeah, blue is significantly closer. Let's go see if we can open up blue.
Oh, thank you for the shout out for Greenie. That's a lot of gloom. Ooh, bomb flowers. Don't mind if I do. That's a heck of a lot of gloom, what the heck? Oh god. Oh, I hate that. Oh, you're also one. Let's stay out of his way. Colossal tree jerk. Although it's not doing gloom damage, which is interesting and weird. Oh, I missed the zonite the first one dropped. Seriously? can fight gloom with fire. Ooh. I like the 30 sturdy thick stick better than this thing that I picked up. So let's ditch that. And I'm going to take that. Thank you very kindly. Oh. Tunic of the Sky. Legend has it this armor was once worn by a hero who appeared from the sky riding atop a mighty bird. Apparently it was presented to celebrate the completion of a ceremony. I have no idea which game that is, but presumably that's Link's outfit from one of the other games. Oh my god, I am so tired of these guys.
Wind Waker, really? I associate Wind Waker a lot more with boating than with sky stuff. Would it not be Skyward Sword? Or am I reading too much into the sky part of the name? So I assume this is the uh, the light route associated with the shrine that I just completed. You, yeah, I, I kind of figured. I kind of figured. I think Wind Waker stuff would probably have wind in the name. Unless I am greatly oversimplifying. Okay, so we've got little bits and pieces. It comes from the Skyward Sword Amiibo. Also findable in game. Nice. I'm actually a little bit tempted to get the Guardian Amiibo. You can actually get the, uh, the high-tech Sheikah swords and stuff using it, or materials to make stuff with it, which sounds pretty nifty. Okay, let's keep going this away. Hopefully we've run into our fair share of those tree monsters. And we won't have too many more of them. Oh. That one's very worth it, especially for the parts to make ancient arrows. Or pick up an amiibo card set, not that I endorse such things. I don't think there's anything wrong with card sets. As long as you're aware of what you're getting yourself into, it's fine. Okay, this guy's making this trip awkward. I'm gonna try and go around the other way over here. See if I can use terrain to keep out of sight. to go. Where did Lionel friend go? Uh, he went to investigate where he saw me. So maybe just as well. I snuck around the wrong way. I just don't publicly endorse them. That's fine. Either way, you still have to know what you're getting yourself into. Oh, you jerks. 
They're gonna eat it. Oh, but that looks like possibly a light route. Maybe not. That's a little too... Oh, that's interesting. That didn't light anything up. Oh, yes, it did. Okay, so we got a building site. I think the light is a little too far away for them to want to eat it. That's good. I've got the Skyward Sword Zelda Amiibo just recently because EV Games' parent company in the U.S. had it on sale for five bucks. That's really cool. I have absolutely nothing Amiibo related. But Animal Crossing and Zelda kind of make me want to give them a try a little bit. That looks pretty passable. I have a few Animal Crossing coins. They're a great alternative to the cards, and my Zelda are cards. Your Metroid ones for Dread are micro cards. Now, are they sort of cross-platform? Like, could you use Animal Crossing cards in a Zelda game, for example? Or is it within its own category only? Interesting. Oh. Suddenly this looks a lot less passable. What the heck? They don't give chests just materials. Okay, okay. Nicely done, sir.
So I often, if I'm running low on mats, will use all my amiibos and just get lots of fish and meat and herbs and gems. Nice. Not expecting that. Okay. Ooh. That looks like the way is closed. <laughs> I think I accidentally hit him. sure how I can make any progress here. Oh, actually, I have an idea. Wait, the light route I started from is just there? Man. No, oh, that goes right up to the ceiling. Where are we? Yeah, there's a river up there. Okay. Oh, crap. I didn't think they could get up here. Rude. Not the glide I was hoping for. Oh, you guys are going to eat the light, aren't you? Nice. This was not specifically intended to be a Zonite mining expedition, but if we keep running into those guys, it might turn into one. Not today, sir. There's no sign of another thing. No light roots. Yeah. Oh, wait. I spoke too soon. What's that over oh. there? That looks very much like oh. a light route, doesn't it? Yeah. You know what I need? I completely forgot that I have... the mining outfit, or at least two-thirds of the mining outfit. Shoot. 
The Demolition Man outfit, yes. That's about right. I had spied a thing, had I not? Where did that go? I'm sure I didn't imagine it. You guys saw it, right? Where the hell was that? Jerig, when you're picking up those blue little, little mini flame things, it looks like you're picking up blue luminescent poo because it ends up behind your cam there. Maybe I can climb up this thing, get a better vantage point. Nope, come on, Link. Okay. Oh, hang on. I thought I saw something over there. I can't tell if my eyes are playing tricks on me. No, there it is, but it's definitely not a light route. So it must be a different direction. Okay, there's lights down there too, but also not light route. That's it. That's it there.
Hmm. I could try to make a flying machine. Maybe reach it a little easier. Hang on. I'm going to save. I don't have so much battery that I'm necessarily going to trust it, but let's maybe see about doing it anyway. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm missing? <laughs> I don't I think I've got this option. I, I don't have a control stick. I think we need to go back to the Akala region. I don't think they're giving me any of them here. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. We're in business. Okay. We're good. Nope. I'm going to put that there. And I'll just use a couple of fans. Maybe even, just to be a little wild and crazy, point them in the correct direction. didn't help. Or maybe I just won't bother flying. Maybe I won't bother. Is that oh that's an encampment isn't it yeah that's where they're mining stuff okay
getting closer. And that looks like area lit up by other light routes that I've discovered. So that's encouraging. Yeah. This sea of gloom is somewhat less encouraging, I've got to say. Yeah. Although maybe it looks like I can get around it up here. Take this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Beep. Okay, it's not far ahead now. Yeah. Very close ahead, actually. This doesn't make sense. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I must have accidentally placed it on an obstruction between me and the light route. like a flux construct. Is that one I've already got mapped? No, it's not. Interesting. Oh, not what I wanted. Interesting. Okay. Once again, that looks like an... No. Okay, there's path through the gloom. Not the easiest path, but a path. Oh, crap, it got me. 
Oh, damn it. You know what I forgot to do? I didn't mark the new... Oh, back. Ah. Thank you. Oh, I was going to say I didn't mark the path to the light route, but I think from here it doesn't really matter. As long as I can get through the uh, the gloom, at least, anyway. There we go. The light route dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Now, interesting that it... Wow, I went a long way without finding a light route. What the heck? I guess there was one up there that I didn't get to. That's so interesting. And what is all this? Okay, well, I think we're going to return to the surface. And we're actually going to go back to Skyview Tower over here in Elden. I want to try to unlock another tower. If you fuse a sharp spike thing to, sh spike shaped thing to a shield, it becomes a weapon essentially. There's our target. might be a terrible idea. I don't think we're going to get anywhere near close enough. But we'll do what we can. Is that just me, or does that look like a storm down below? I'm running out of stamina so quickly. Oh shoot, okay. I don't think we have a choice. Is that a storm? Why is it so low? I see a shrine too. Oh. No, 
Never mind. We're just passing through. Not worth your time, sir. That's got to be one of the temples, right? Probably the wind temple or maybe the fire temple. Although I would expect the fire temple to be more volcano-ish. Oh, not the wind temple. We already did the wind temple, didn't we? This has got to be generally Goron territory. The heat here, even at night, is pretty intense. Though thankfully not so intense that I need special protective gear. If I'm careful, maybe he'll fail to notice the brightly lit swordsman. glowy red bit over there. Is that just more gloom? Yeah, I think it is. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain? Exactly. Sikaru Shrine. see what this is all about. Spinning gears. Okay, I think I see what I have to do here. Let's give this a few turns. Okay, 
Okay, and once again, I'm not really seeing a chest. Visitor to this shrine of light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Yeah, and I've got more than enough to get another heart once we're done with all this stuff. Probably the start of the next time I stream this. And by the way, we are going to do our LEGO building stream soon. I'm not entirely certain when. I would kind of like to start it on Friday if I can, but I've got some preparation to do beforehand, making sure the area is clear and all that. Uh, so it might be a little bit later than that. We might do it on Saturday or Tuesday. But then we'll do basically what we've done in the past, where I'll build a bag a day until we finish. Since it's very comparable in size to, uh, what's it called? The Razor Crest that we built. I do expect it'll probably take six hours or so to completely build the whole thing. Which would translate roughly to six streams. I'm just going to let our winged friend there, the sage, deal with these guys if possible. I think I remember this area. Wasn't this insanely dark in Breath of the Wild? Tiflo Ruins, or Thiflo Ruins. Oh, that was not water. <laughs> okay, good to know. I'm so careful. Oh, it's guarded by sentinels, that's fun. The Flow Ruins Skyview Tower. Oh. Good morning, so we meet again, eh? Mm. Sorry, the Skyview Tower is out of order and maintenance is proving tricky. Oh. Well, the terminal that starts up the Skyview Tower isn't working. I've checked all the terminal's parts, but nothing looks broken. Oh. I wonder if it's something to do with the tower itself is broken. Well, crap. This does look like the area we had to sneak around in the dark in.
Oh. That would probably have something to do with it. How would I rule? The terminal, it's working again, even though I didn't do anything. Did you turn it off and back on again? Because that'll usually do it. There was something blocking the top of the Skyview Tower? Huh. The terminal and the lid on top of the tower are connected. So if the lid wouldn't work because it was blocked, I guess the terminal wouldn't work either. Well, I'm in a hurry and everything seems to be working properly, so I'll head out. Thank you for fixing the Skyview Tower. I'm off. Off we go. Another map section complete. Surface map updated, Great High Rule Forest. Sky map updated. Okay, is there anything in the sky that we can reasonably reach from here? These don't look too, too far, do they? Oh, that looks actually relatively easy. That's basically right below us. Looks like a shrine. Oh, that looks like a vendor. See what we got. <laughs> steering stick, steering stick. Shock emitter, nice. Light, very nice. Shock emitter, steering stick, lots of steering sticks. That is actually perfect. That's what I was kind of hoping for. Charge. 
let's take a look at what's going on with this shrine, which seems to be missing. And I have a feeling it's because we need one of those green gem things. Seek the crystal connected to the beam and offer it at the shrine. Do so and I will grant you a light that banishes evil. The North High Rule Sky Crystal. Oh, and it tells you where the be the crystal is. That's really cool. And it's right there with the Flux Guardian. Great. All right, guys, it's getting on to wards 630. And that means I am going to have to wrap up here in a minute. I just want to see if I can grab a picture of the Flux Guardian. No, oh, he's a little more over that way. Okay. No, he's a little too far to photograph properly, sadly. All right. I think we're going to save here. And we will pick this up next time. Thank you so much for an awesome stream today. We had two really good games. So, uh, let's hope the Flux Guardian doesn't poke you off the platform. That would be fun. But it's fine. I've got my hang glider. Paraglider. Whatever you want to call it. I think now we're going to have to figure... We don't want you to turn into a pumpkin. Yeah, exactly. Let's see if we can find somebody awesome to raid. Because I've got to go deal with dinner stuff. Okay, let's see. Greeny, of course, is on. He's playing more Zelda. So if you're in the mood for more of that, you could come on over and we can say hi to him. Zilliness is on. Actually, we haven't had a chance to raid Zilly in a million years. We're going to go raid Zilly today. She's doing City Skylines, unsurprisingly. She is a former team member of Ever After. We used to be part of that team together. So uh, I think we're going to go do that. So let me just make sure I'm typing her name correctly. Yes, we're going to go raid Zilly. All right, guys. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Shh. It's a library raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel. And if that's if you're a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch raid and the Tomb raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own, if you've got emotes from another streamer, maybe emotes from... Uh, you know, Twitch themselves, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. Let's go over and see how Zilly's doing. Uh, it looks like she's even got her camera on. I haven't seen that in years. So uh, let's see how she's doing with her city build, and I will be back on Friday. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world, and I will catch you again real soon. Bye for now, guys. <laughs>